When we come back, how Dubai continues to diversify its economy and is banking on the future of medical and wellness tourism. Like many in the GCC, Dubai is trying to develop its non-oil economy. Tourism is a growing and key sector. More than 15 million visitors come here every year. By 2020, it wants 20 million. One way they are looking to achieve it is by growing medical and wellness tourism. Dubai is on the world map of medical tourism. It has really become big business. Medical tourism is a global billion dollar industry, but is Dubai ready to claim a major slice of this market? Medical tourism is a phenomenon in which people usually would travel to another country to get the same treatment at a cheaper price. In the past, people used to go to the US or UK or Europe for different treatments. Now, a lot of countries, uh, especially in this region, are coming to Dubai. Rudolf Kayubet is recovering after major surgery. He's being discharged and will soon return to his native Philippines. Here, they have the most sophisticated uh, medical equipments. Yeah, not like in the Philippines, you go to another hospital to get a, to get a CT scan like that. So here, it's so much complete. Rudolph is in Dubai's Al Zahra Hospital, which is increasingly catering to medical tourists. Last year, it treated more than 4,000 international patients with a variety of conditions. In the hospital, we offer a range of services from uh, plastic surgery procedures, including rhinoplasties, advanced cancer surgery services, and also we do uh, orthopedics and uh, sports injury services. The city has all the, the, the bits and pieces that are really important for uh, uh, medical tourism. And on top of that, there is very high quality hospitals and healthcare institutions here who provide very, very high-end surgeries and procedures which are attractive for medical tourists to come. In 2012, Dubai had 107,000 international medical tourists. By 2016, that figure had jumped to more than 320,000, generating $381 million. This growth has propelled it to number one in the region and 18th in the world as a destination. Yeah, yeah. Wishing you all the best. Yeah, all the best for you. 37 percent of people who came to Dubai in 2016, they were from Asian countries, and 31 percent they were uh, from Arab country, and 15 percent were from European country. Uh, do you have so many patients today? Do we have less patients? Oh. More than 80 percent of our hospitals are internationally accredited. We have um, healthcare professional coming from more than 110 nationalities. So we say in Dubai, we speak your language, we are culture sensitive. There are big growth plans. The aim is to attract 500,000 medical tourists by 2020, thereby generating $710 million annually. It has very high quality medical care compared to other uh, countries in the region. And also uh, relatively much better priced than say what one would pay for in the U.S. And it's cost that could be a stumbling block to future growth. The Medical Tourism Index and International Analysis of Medical Tourism rank Dubai as average when it comes to patient experience and the cost of providing health care. Addressing these issues could be key to its global ambitions. And medical tourism alone will not propel Dubai to its target of 20 million visitors by 2020. Wellness tourism, a global $500 billion industry, is a key growth sector. Professors would tell us, if you suspect it highly, just treat this patient. Don't do the test. The wellness potential and the market may be 10 times bigger than the medical tourism market because medical tourism is still limited to procedures. Wellness tourism is everything a person who's completely well but at the age of 35 wants to have an annual checkup and come for a week in which to reconnect with themselves and their souls. And with its array of five-star hotels and luxury spas, Dubai says it's well-placed to take advantage of this growing market.